In this video, we're going to share our go-to way to cultivate mushrooms using wild bird seed or WBS for grain spawn. Sterilized grain spawn is an essential step in growing mushrooms. It's used to colonize substrates, enabling the mycelium to spread throughout. Mixing it evenly throughout the substrate allows for quick fruiting. WBS, or wild bird seed, is one of many different types of grain spawn that can be utilized. Rye berries, millet, and popcorn are other examples, but WBS is our favorite and has shown us to be an excellent spawn for growing out all types of mycelium. Grain spawn can be inoculated using a variety of methods, including spores, agar, and liquid cultures. When we began researching on different WBS techniques, all we could find was people using tap water to rinse their bird seed for 20 minutes before boiling it in tap water for another 20 minutes. So I'm sure this technique does work for some people. It just didn't make any sense for us. When using the simple idea of cleansing and sterilizing your bird seed, but also retaining all the nutrients, it really got us thinking about different techniques and ways to prepare our bird seed. Using tap water as your first rinse is absolutely okay. You want to rinse off all the sprayed on vitamins and minerals that they put on the bird seed. This is also a great opportunity to clean out any debris or sticks and to pull out some of the sunflower seeds. I recommend keeping some of the sunflower seeds in your WBS. I have seen the mycelium root into these and wrap themselves around. So I found that the sunflower seeds, or at least some of them, are highly beneficial to your WBS. Once you've rinsed your bird seed, then you would put it into a pot, and I do two five-minute boils. You're more than welcome to do three five-minute boils. The idea, again, is to thoroughly cleanse your bird seed without cooking it. You want to retain as much of the nutrients in your bird seed for your mycelium to grow and spawn. Continuously stirring during the process is vital so your bird seed is not cooking on the bottom of the pot. Then you just simply want to rinse and strain, rinse and strain. You can rinse as many times as you would like. However, I have found after doing two five minute boils and one rinse in purified or distilled water, it's ready to go. You can see within the water when it runs clear, it's ready to go. If you're unfamiliar with purified water, just grab some distilled water from your local grocery store. One reason why you would not want to use tap water with your bird seed is chlorine and all the heavy minerals left behind that even the pressure cooker won't eliminate for you. So if you've had some struggles with your spawn and your inoculations with your grain spawn, the tap water could be your fix. Just switch to distilled water and eliminate that chlorine from your WBS along with the heavy minerals and see how that works for you. From there, you want to pour your bird seed on paper towels or towels, but you don't want it to dry out too much because you want to retain the moisture for your mycelium to grow. When adding the bird seed to your jars, make sure not to fill them all the way so you have plenty of room to add your agar, your spores, your liquid culture, and to shake them. Simply cover them in foil, and then you want to pressure cook them for 90 minutes on 15 PSI. Once your bird seed and your jars have cooled to room temperature, they're ready to use. We highly recommend you use them as soon as possible for inoculation so they don't dry out on you. We have found that three holes in the top of the lid with micropore tape is perfect for inoculation. However, some people recommend that you put your holes around the side of the jar. Thanks for subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can catch all of our upcoming videos.